you got locked up and then a fan bailed you out. Yeah. Some uh, TRG dude, you know, with a S2K. What's that? Yeah. Those gangs or something? Yeah, TRG. Tiny Rascal Gang. Oh, okay. Yeah, he was like, yo, us Cambodians got to stick together. You know, he, he threw a quick ban at the, you know, the bail, and I was out. Okay. Yeah. And what'd you do once you got out? Uh, I was on house arrest for like a week or two. <laughs> and With the ankle monitor? Yeah, I was... Yeah, it's right here, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna auction this, bro, for real. Like yeah? after this whole shit. You should add it to the no jumper uh you know Trophy? archive of all I, the I don't know, man. We got the gay crips orange sunglasses. <laughs> That's but anyway, cool. let's let's get back to this. Um, right. <laughs> yeah. Um so, so so when you decide to cut it off? Um I was like, yo, if you guys make this video go viral, I will cut this shit off. And it's really up to the fans. And then it blew up. I was like, fuck it. I got to be a man of my word. And I cut that shit off. Spoiler, they wanted you to cut it off because they don't want the best for you. They just want to see you crash out because it's going to be more yeah, entertaining. I mean, <laughs> shit. The, the, the last few months have been legendary, bro. As much as you love your fans, realistically, a lot of times me. they don't really want the best for you. They want what's going to be the most entertaining. Yeah. Um, but mean, so then you just take off like did you have a you had a car or how how did you start moving around? So I had this buddy he was supposed to bring me to New York and then the car they popped a tire and I just I just kind of had to left him and then I just started walking towards like what was it? So I go from law I was walking towards Connecticut or some shit. Walking that would probably yeah, take you like then, a week to walk that far. And then you Maybe know like I was I weeks. made a. I made a few videos. I messaged a few friends. I stayed at a few fans' houses, and I started just hitchhiking, bro. And were you going anywhere in particular? Or? Uh, I just wanted to go to L.A. honestly, and then just call it a day. It's just it'd be legendary to go from one side of the U.S. to the other end. But I just wanted to have some fun too. So I ended up going to like the strip club <laughs> for the first time. Mm. Just like. Just going crazy and just experimenting with drugs, bro. And had you never experimented with drugs before? No, my mom would beat my ass. <laughs> like she's like a, a strict Asian mom. Like right. do your homework, be a doctor, you know, don't do drugs. She would beat my ass, bro. So what drugs did you start experimenting with? Just a whole lot. Just, you know, marijuana, alcohol, fing DMT, shrooms, cocaine, just everything. It's like I never said no. I was just like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to prison anyway, so I got to enjoy it while I can, you know? What did you like and dislike amongst all those different drugs? So alcohol and marijuana just makes me feel tired, bro. It makes me feel like, <laughs> like brain dead, like autistic, you know? Right. Yeah, there's a little bit of that. Yeah, and then cocaine. That's a hell of a drug. I never felt any, anything amazing that, but cocaine, yeah, but it's just it's too addicting. Like, <laughs> yeah. too addicting. DMT. Oh my god, I was looking at the ceiling, bro. Really? You know, popcorn ceilings, and they cast a little black shadow. Right. Okay. Yo, it was crawling everywhere. It looked like cockroaches and shit. <laughs> I was freaking out. Right. And then shrooms. Oh my god, it doesn't even feel like a drug. It's like, I don't know. It's like a spiritual journey. It's, it do, it, I do not consider that a drug. I consider that as like. I don't know therapy that had a big impact on you. It really did. It hum. It, it like changed my perspective. You know, definitely. Um, okay. And so, how many? How much time do you realistically think that you would actually get for driving the car into the front of the building? Because I'm gonna be real with you. In this day and age, I feel like that's the kind of thing that I could very easily see you. You know, getting a, a decent lawyer and getting off with like yeah, probation yeah. or like a no. fine. Or, or restitution a, and shit like that. I've never done a crime in my life. Exactly. I'm an angel. Well, yeah. Not anymore. <laughs> but uh, like, I, no one died, bro. It's not like I, right. Like I, I, I'm basically the Asian take, but I didn't kill anybody. You know. Right. Every state's different, but I feel like in this day and age, it seems like they're not really like as eager to throw people in prison as they used to be. Yeah. But. So what do you think is going to happen when you go to court eventually? Because you're out here acting like you're about to go do 10 years when it doesn't really seem realistic <laughs> I to mean, me. 
it's marketing, you know? It's yeah. just something I have to push out, you know? This is what people want to see. That's why people want to, they f*** with me, you know? Right. Yeah. Damn. So you went to the strip club, but you didn't actually lose your virginity? I did lose my virginity. In the strip club? No, not the strip oh. club, but, you know, with this clout comes groupies, you know? Really? Yeah. How many? So far, just a good five girls. Five? Yeah. That's I might have serious. a few kids on the way, you feel me? Like, wow, you've been running up in there and nothing? Yeah, bro, like, you ever heard of Genghis Khan? I mean, yeah, but not in a sexual manner, really. Yeah, uh, well, you know, he went from, you know, kingdom to kingdom, busting in bitches, you know? Like, I'm trying to be the next Genghis Khan. So, right. Yeah. Okay. I've been going just state to state, so <laughs> for now, it's just the U.S. <laughs> right. Damn, so what was it like losing your virginity? Honestly, I, I'd rather just my meat. Like, really? <laughs> it's just, some girls just mad loose. And they smell fishy. I think I was just f***ing horse, bro. Yeah. I mean, if a girl's going to f*** a dude because he's going viral for being on the run on social media, I mean, yeah, I was she might be f***ing a lot of other dudes, too, because that's kind of like a low bar. Fuck. <laughs> you think I should go get checked out, bro? <laughs> uh, I mean, realistically, as a dude, you can kind of just, like, monitor your and if you start to get any kind of like drips or like sores or anything, then you should be worried. But besides like AIDS, you're probably just, you're just not going to know unless you get it. Oh, if, or shit. if you get it, you're going to know. Okay. Damn. Yeah. But yeah, so I've been feeling a little itchy. I'm not going to lie. Really? Yeah. It's like what part itches? Like the pubes? Like the shaft, bro. The shaft. Yeah. <laughs> Like he said, the shaft. Yeah, bro. <laughs> the shaft. It just. I mean, okay. So, elephant in the room. You're saying that these bitches got loose pussies. Yeah, bro. Is there a possibility that they have normal size pussies and you just have a below average size? No. Like I'm five five. The height one is somewhere else, bro. Really? Yeah. So you're pretty well endowed. I'm pretty sure. Because you know, there's like stereotypes about Asian guys. I'm not saying that they're true. Yeah, but. no, no. I'm my my father was a horse, bro. So I got a horse. Your dad had a big Yeah, bro. Really? Damn. I remember thinking my dad was big when I was a little kid. Yeah, you know, you shower with your father, you know, it has some bonding time, mm. you know? Then I get older and I saw it, and I'm like, oh, maybe not, yeah. not so much. It's all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, how long in total have you been on the run now? Man, I don't even know. It's, these days just blur because it's just, you know, most... Most people lives that are like, well, what I do basically, I move fast. Like I do everything. It's just it's super fast. I don't. I barely get sleep, bro. Like mm -hmm. I I pop mad Adderall before I got here, bro. <laughs> How's that going? I'm awake. <laughs> Why are you not sleeping? What's uh? I just I'm scared if I sleep, you know, I, I'll miss out on the fun, you know, with the bitches, the drugs, the partying. Right. I just want to live my best life because I don't know when's my time to, you know, go.